In this video, I want to go over how to create and install the browser extension for Chrome-based browsers. In my case, I will be installing the extension in Arc. First, navigate to the Obsidian Clipper settings within Obsidian and click on the Browser tab. Here you can click on the Browser Extension button for your vault. There are ways to create an extension for a specific note, but I will go over that in another video. After clicking the button, it should transform into a link after a second or two. You can click this link to open a browser and download your custom Obsidian Clipper extension. You may need to unzip the downloaded .zip file of the extension if your operating system doesn't automatically do so. In this case, you can see that Mac OS already unzips the file for us. After saving the extension, we can go to the browser to install the extension. So I'll do that here in Arc. While I will be installing the extension in Arc, this process is pretty much the same in other Chrome-based browsers. First, find the menu item for managing extensions. In Arc, it's under Extensions, Manage Extensions. This will take you to a screen where it shows you what extensions you currently have installed. If the developer mode toggle isn't already turned on, go ahead and do so now. Now we can click on the Load Unpacked button. Here you'll want to navigate to the unzipped directory of the extension downloaded and select that directory. So it's already selected here for me. You can see it's in my downloads uh, selected. I'm going to go ahead and just select that. And now the extension is installed and it's enabled. So I can go to a website where I want to collect some information. In ARC, you do have to right click on this little toolbar up here that you have to go into and have it show and click Manage Extensions. And then here I'm going to go ahead and have it pinned to this bar so that way it's uh, easily accessible. So now I'm going to go ahead and select some text I want and then click the extension. You can see that this is the first time that we've done this for this domain. So it's ask, asking if we want to open Obsidian or always open Obsidian. I like to do the always open Obsidian so we don't have this interruption in the process. After doing that, you can go over here, navigate to the daily note for today, which is November 10th. And there's the information that we wanted to clip. 